Hello guys, welcome to a geological zone. So I am Kartik Tiwari, I have completed my master degree from Government Institute of Science, Aurangaba in Geology. Okay. So we already discussed the, in our previous lecture, we already discussed about the concept of groundwater, origin of groundwater. Today we will deal with the concept of or the occurrences of groundwater. Okay. So in hydrogeology, hydrogeology. In hydrogeology, the origin and the occurrences of groundwater is most. So today we will deal with the occurrences. Before occurrences, first we will deal with the processes. Processes of groundwater. Processes of groundwater. So processes of groundwater in hydrological cycle. Number one, the percolation. Number one process is percolation. So the definition of percolation is the vertically, the vertically downward, the vertically downward movement, movement of water known as known as percolation. Known as percolation. The next one process, the runoff. The next one process is the runoff. The moment of water across the land. The moment. The moment of water. The moment of water across the land. The moment of water across the land. Known as runoff. Next one, next process in hydrogeology. Next process in uh, hydrological cycle. So the sublimation. Sublimation. So in sublimation, in sublimation, the solid is directly converted into the solid is directly converted into converted into the water vapor the water vapor known as the sublimation next one the evaporation evaporation so in evaporation there is a reduced reduced water level to reduce the water level to reduce the water level then the deposition the deposition. So in deposition, in deposition, there is an accumulation of sediments. There is an accumulation of sediments through water or wind. Accumulation of sediments. Then next process is the infiltration. Next one, the infiltration. Infiltration. So in infiltration. The soil moisture zone, the soil moisture zone hold the water and percolate. Hold the water and percolate. So, in hydrological cycle or in uh, groundwater, there are different processes. Number one, the percolation, the vertically downward movement of water known as percolation, then runoff. So, runoff may be defined as the movement of water across the land known as runoff. Next one, the sublimation. So in sublimation, the solid is directly converted into the water level. The next one, the evaporation to reduce the water level. And deposition means the accumulation of sediments to water. So there is a groundwater. There is an action of groundwater. Then infiltration. So soil moisture zone hold the water and percolate known as the sublimation. So there are different processes behind the hydrological cycle and the groundwater. Then the occurrences of groundwater. So, in the occurrences of groundwater, so occurrences we will deal with the occurrences with the help of the figure. Okay. So, in occurrences of groundwater, the groundwater bifurcated into the unsaturated zone. Number one, the unsaturated zone, and number second, the saturated zone. Number second, the saturated zone. So, groundwater bifurcated into the saturated zone, and next one. Uh, the unsaturated zone 
and next one the saturated zone. So unsaturated zone having the soil soil moisture zone. Soil moisture zone. So in unsaturated zone, there is a soil moisture zone. Then behind that soil moisture zone, there is an intermediate zone. There is a intermediate zone. So in intermediate zone, there is a vadose water. In intermediate zone, having the vadose water. Vadose water. Then there is a capillary fringe. There is a capillary fringe. Capillary fringe. And after that, there is a saturation zone. After that, there is a saturation zone. So intermediate zone applicable for the caused water. Caused aquifer. Perch aquifer. Intermediate zone applicable for the perch aquifer and capillary fringe applicable for the uh, water table. So, water table is nothing but the confined aquifer and behind that there is a confined aquifer. Confined aquifer. Okay. So, this is about the occurrences of groundwater. In our next lecture, we will deal with the concept of aquifer and its types. Okay. Please like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.